My question is about getting out of the way. You talked about, say a situation happens, and uh, even for me, and I'm part of a situation, which I'm really not part of, but for some reason I'm involved in a situation that to me feels one way. I deliver something. Are you an observer of it? I'm an observer. Well, I felt like I was an observer of it, but maybe I was more involved than what I thought I was. Yeah, we think so. We think so, too. Okay. So you are a co-creator in it. Absolutely, but I don't like it. I'm. I don't want to be that co-creator. I don't want to. I don't want to be partake of it. I don't. But for some reason, I was there in it, and and so, I know so I'm been, responsible for it. So what we've it. been saying earlier about getting over the discomfort that I'm in the middle of something that I don't want. That's key that's the to piece. what you're reaching that's for. That's the piece that I'm it trying is. to really because I can do other things. When it gets me, it grabs hold. How does Esther? How do people ungrip it to a, to let it settle? Well, you go general, you try to distract yourself from it, but the most important piece for all of you, Esther too, is to make peace with the attraction of it and stop beating up on yourself and calling it negative attraction. Mm -hmm. Instead, call it clarifying attraction. Call it something necessary in order to help me get clear about what I want. A clarifying process. Because look at it this way, there are a lot of pieces there are a lot of pieces to a lot of different subjects. Start again. Every subject that is potentially active within you has similar basic roots. And those basic roots begin from your primary point of attraction. And your primary point of attraction is about how you feel. For example, someone who really doesn't like themselves very much, and we're not talking about you, someone who really doesn't like themselves very much and it doesn't matter how they got that way maybe they had an abusive parent or maybe they had a parent who was insecure also someone who doesn't like themselves very much so has that primary point of attraction of let's say just for simplicity of being a victim then finds themselves mistreated by almost everybody in almost every situation. Mm -hmm. And so to talk about the situations, to try to work your way through, is it right or wrong? Should that have person have been rude to you? Well, of course not. But if your vibration is such that you activate within someone who's usually not rude to anybody being rude to you, it means you've got a strong vibrational point of attraction going. So if you don't know that you've got it going and you're attracting the evidence of it, it is helpful somewhere along the way to have someone say to you, you attracted this because this and this and this and this and this and this and this because there is a habit of thought that you've got going on that this is pointing to. So it's helpful when someone like you who understands deliberate creation, who understands the law of attraction, it's helpful when you are standing in the middle of something that, as you say, I did not want this to ask yourself, what is the primary vibration? Because it's not on the surface. It's not something that I went asking for. I didn't put it on my things to do today list. I didn't go looking for this trouble. It found me which makes it feel like someone asserted it into your experience. They didn't. There is a primary point of attraction within me. So here's a really good question to ask. Are there other things like this that seem to come from a similar root that are showing up in my experience? And the answer is always yes, because if it's happening in this regard, it's happening in others. So then you say, I'm glad this happened to point out that there's something deeper. Now stay with us because this is going to sound like a departure from what you've heard us say before, but it isn't something that is deeper for me to tend to. Well, when we're talking about deeper, we're talking about going more general. When you said deeper, my breath got held. It's like, uh. when we're talking about going deeper, we're talking about going more general. We're talking about getting off of the specifics of it and going more general. And the way to go deeper isn't by getting to the bottom of that and getting to the bottom of that and getting to the bottom of that, because we really mean it when we tell you there is no bottom. Because when you try to get to the bottom, you will activate it and more of it will come. So by going deeper, we don't mean getting to the bottom of it. We mean going general because of it. 
we mean going general because of this trying to find a way of making this work for me right here right now find a way of soothing myself in this right now and if you have five or ten or twenty or thirty episodes like that that come up in a week you're having a good week because you've had five or ten or ten or twenty or thirty opportunities to go general go general shift a vibration change the frequency you've gone deeper without even knowing what caused that frequency to end up where it is you raise the vibration of that so that you don't have access to those kinds of experiences the experiences that are coming to you the way people behave in your experience are an accurate reflection of where your vibration is so the example you just gave of Esther where things happen she's in whatever asks the question is she calm and just waiting for an answer I mean that that's the part that gets I think a well, lot of us caught up is how do we stay well, here's the thing that we want to really emphasize about that because our friend was saying basically that wouldn't it be nice to be like Esther and have instant access to the answers to all questions and we want to explain that that's not the way that it is because while she and all of you have instant access to the answers of all questions it doesn't mean that you are in a vibrational place of being able to receive them and so so chill you see once you've asked the question it's there and as life keeps helping you to focus upon it the focusing on the question was the operative word there if a question is active within you the answer will come and sometimes hear this you're gonna really like this at least we do <laughs> often the answer to an important question comes with more trouble first <laughs> because the trouble clarifies the question it puts it in fuller fashion and it heightens your determination to focus yourself into alignment with the solution okay. so we would say embrace everything that comes someone mentioned this yesterday when something wonderful happens Esther would say I did that and when something not so wonderful happened Esther would say I did that too I'm responsible for the creation of my experience I am the creator of my experience so what this conversation is really emphatically about is not being so hard on yourself when something is not going the way you want it to you are such a person who loves that when you're not in a moment of love you feel awful and then you want to beat up on yourself for not being in that place when it is logical as you move through this life experience seeing hearing smelling tasting touching as you do as you move through life that you're going to come across things that activate within you something less than who you are that's what negative emotion means every time something's activated in you that is less than who you really are but hear this it's not someone pointing that out aha condemnation you are less than who you really are there's no one outside of you acknowledging that it's just you feeling the vibrational difference between who you really are and how you want to feel and how you're feeling right now you're just working the bugs out of one more thing and, you, and if you really get to that primary vibration by caring about how you feel and going general until you soothe it so give us an example if you want to no I don't care yeah but I got it yeah. I got it yeah. that's the stuck point that I get when I am unaware probably you're, not clear probably not clear you're never stuck but sometimes you're offering a vibration that opposes where you want to go absolutely so it feels stuck you want to go this way but you're going this way so it's a tug of war that makes you feel stuck and in the moment that you chill you let go and off you and the momentum begins again it's the struggle that we want you to stop because yeah, the big question it's what the hell was somewhere. that how did that happen what the I mean really out, out of left what? field what the what what the hell was that How'd evidence that happen? evidence of a pattern of vibration that opposes the direction you're going that's what the hell it is <laughs> it's evidence it's evidence of a contradictory vibration that you're wanting to soothe if you can right now 
So by saying, what is that in a condemning of self mode or in a condemning of someone or something mode in a condemning of Delta airlines mode mm -hmm. in a condemn, in a condemning mode, just makes it bigger and holds you away from what you want longer. So when you ask the question, what was that? It was help. What was that? It was clarity in the making. What was that? It was a clarifying experience. What was that? That was an indicator. Seriously, we know that this is a ridiculous analogy, but it applies perfectly. Do you look at your gas gauge that says empty and say, what in the hell are you doing? <laughs> the nerve of you empty. Are you kidding? I've got a lot to do today. I've got a lot to do today and I need gas in my car right now. And I resent you telling me that it is otherwise. <laughs> you like indicators. Because indicators help you to define what you're going to do differently. Now you've received the indicator. What are you going to do differently? Well, hopefully what you'll do first is chill. What you'll do first is say, thanks. Thank you for the indicator. Thank you. Law of attraction for being consistent. Thank you. Me for being so sensitive to the way I feel because in years gone by, I wouldn't even have noticed this. And in years gone by, I wouldn't even wanted to do anything about it. And years gone by, I would have just perpetuated, but thank you me because I felt it. And, and so what was it? What, what was that about? What was that about? Well, it doesn't really matter what it was about. It's an indication that there is some resistance going on. I'm going to watch for other patterns about it. What do I think it might be about? What do I think it might be about? What do I think it might be about? Um, a shortage of something. It's about a shortage of something. It's either a shortage of money. Usually we're talking about generally, it's either a shortage of money, shortage of attention, shortage of time, shortage of space. It's a shortage of something that is a shortage of something. So I'll watch for other evidence of this, but generally speaking, I know that this is an abundant universe and I know that there is no shortage and I know that whatever I want can flow to me. And I believe that law of attraction is consistent and I'm really good at this. I'm, I've shown that to myself. I'm doing really well at this and I sure do like my guidance system. I love every big or little piece of negative emotion that I feel. And I'm so happy that I'm consciously aware of it. I feel better just in knowing that in feeling it, I stopped the momentum because I stopped and said, mm, I can tell I'm moving in a direction different than I want to. What's the direction that I want to move in? I want to move toward clarity. I want to move toward fun. I want to feel good more of the time. I, I want to be an uplifter and I want to uplift others. I want others to uplift me. I like that dance that we all do. That's the dance I do best. That's who I am. That's what usually happens for me. This is a hiccup that I like smoothing the bump out of, but it's not significant. What was I doing before that? <laughs> then off you go. In that same vein. Vein, good word, vein, vibrational vein.